welcome to Words of Wisdom with D, where we pray as well as hope that you are obtaining knowledge, wisdom, and understanding in God and His Word and in His Word. So on today, I'm going to be coming out of Proverbs 16 and 9, where it said, A man's heart plan his ways, but the Lord directs his step. So how many of us is allowing God to direct our steps? Even though we plan and stuff and we have all these grand ideals in our mind, like I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that and I'm going here and there and everywhere else. But are we really allowing God to direct our steps, to order our steps, to give us the directions that we need to do with our plans? Are we going to God, submitting our plans to him and say, God, your will be done? You know, I was watching, um, I had went to the movies over the weekend and um, I had went to go see, the, um, not the Sound of Freedom, but it's, I think it's the Sound of Freedom or Sound of Freedom. But anyway, that movie, I'm telling y'all, <laughs> That was a good movie. I recommend if you have not seen that movie yet, please go see that movie because it is a good movie. And I'm telling you, while I was in that movie, in the movie, it had me thinking, it had me seeing that man, this guy, Tim Billard, if I hope I pronounce his last name right, he allowed God to order his step. He allowed God, he trusted in God. I'm telling y'all, I just got truth. He had to trust in God for him to go into the places that he went into to get these kids. Even when the government wasn't backing him up, he went and did it anyway. Now, let, let me tell y'all, I told y'all before, man will fail you every time. <laughs> but God, but God. And, you know, I don't want to spoil the movie for nobody or anything, but I do ask that you go see it. And once again, this movie had me thinking, like, man, am I allowing God to direct my paths? Or am I sitting over here just planning stuff and just going by my own plans and not even consulting God, not even going to God, seeing if, hey, God, is this the plan you have for me? Is this your desire for me and stuff? Or is this just my desire, you know? So... Once again, on today, like I said, the scripture is a man heart's plan his ways. So we could plan, we could do all that, but overall, are we allowing God to direct our steps and everything? Because we are put on this earth for a purpose. And our purpose is to fulfill the will of God. Are we being that willing vessel to say, hey God, wherever you want me to go, here I am. I'm ready to go. Wherever you want me to do, Hey, God, here I am. I'm ready to go despite what I planned last week, despite what I planned coming up, despite all my plans. Lord God, if you see my plans not fit for me, please, Lord, redirect my path. Because also, I believe in Jeremiah 29 and 11, it lets us know he God has the ultimate plans for our lives. He's the one that planned our lives. He's the one that has the plans to have us to prosper, to have us to be in good health, to have us to have, um, you know, whatever he wants us to have. So are we following God's plan or are we just following our own plan and just going running with our own plan? Yeah, he did tell us to write it down, make it plain and stuff and everything. But are we submitting our plans unto God? God, this is what I'm planning. Is this what you want me to do and stuff? And, you know, and like I said, that's what I, watching this movie, The Sound of Freedom, because the guy, when he went over to Colombia, he was like, okay, the government is about to back me up on this, on, on me trying to find these kids and stuff and everything. And when the government pulled out, he was all like, okay, God, what am I to do? You know what I mean? And his plan wasn't, I'm sorry to spoil the movie, but his plan wasn't to quit his job, but he was all like, I need to do something for these kids. Because once again, he said, God, kids shall not be sold. You know what I mean? And stuff. So when we know it's something right to do, we need to sit up there and give God our plans, give God our our um our ideals and stuff. Submit them unto God. You know, like when you're in a business meeting or something, you have to write down the plan or write down the um process or whatever, and then submit it to your boss and be like, hey, this is what I think, and then they'll go through, tweak it, and do whatever they need to do. And be like, okay, here's 
here's what we, we're going to do as a team and stuff, at the job and stuff. And that's what it is with God. God is our leader. God is our headship. So why don't we just go to the one who is over us? First of all, he is the author and the finisher of our faith. So why don't we go to him? Because he ha he has it. He has the book. He has the plan right there. So why don't we just go to him and ask him, Lord God, these are my plans I have. But please direct my steps and show me where should I go? What should I do? How should I critique this plan so it could fit your will, Lord God? So it could, so I could do what you want me to do. And you know, once again, this all comes back to trusting God. Are we trusting and relying on God? Are we acknowledging God in all our ways? Are we, you know, seeking, asking, knocking, you know, asking God, God, is this what you want me to do? And then are we seeking so that we can find what he wants us to do? And are we knocking? Because if we go do that, he, he will provide for us. He will open doors. He will let us find. He will have answers for us when we do that. But first, we have to go to him so that he can do it for us. So once again... The scripture for the week is a man's heart plans his ways, but the Lord directs his path. That means we're making plans and we're writing them down and we're making them plain so that we can run with it. But before we run with it, are we seeking God? Are we asking God? God, direct my path. God, direct my steps. God, is this what you have for me to do? Is this what you want me to do? Is this, is this the plan? <laughs> you know what I mean? Is this the plan? So on today, let's pray and let's ask God. Lord God, all the plans that I have before, all the plans that I plan, I'm asking you, Lord God, is this your will for my life? Because I want you, my God, to direct my path, to direct me so I could be in your perfect will, so that I could have everything that you have stored up for me. In Jesus name and he'll do it he'll do it he will direct your path and he will lead you on the way that he should go and so in conclusion with the sound of freedom I got all of that out of the sound of freedom because that one main character allowed God to direct his path he didn't allow fear to come in the way he didn't allow anything to come away. Even though he may have his plan, he had a plan. He went to God and said, God, direct me. Show me what I need to do. Give me the people to help me to do what I need to do. He, God will do it all. I'm telling y'all, God will do it all for you. And in the midst of that, he was able, he was able to find that one child he was looking for and saved many on the way. And, and that's the plan God want for us. That is the plan God want for us. He want us to bring in souls. He want us to be able to help people be delivered, set free. He wants us. He wants us to once again be that willing vessel that open vessel to say, God, what would you have me to do for you on today? God, I had planned to go to the gym. And you're like, yeah, go ahead and go to the gym. But I'm not going to have you work out. I'm going to have you go to the smoothie shop and go get this. And when you're at the smoothie shop, the lady at the counter, she's going to need to hear a word from you. She's going to need to hear something from you. Even if it's just Jesus loves you. That may break something in her. That may set her free from something. That's what God wants. 
So once again, Proverbs 16, a man hearts plans his ways, but the Lord directs his step. So allow God to direct your step. Allow God. Just go to God. Like I said, once again, this is this is going with praying without ceasing. This is trusting God. This is acknowledging God. This is everything that God wants us to do for him. And we just have to be that willing vessel to just do it. Just say, God, I'm here and I want to do it ever you want me to do god may have you just smile at somebody that may break something off of somebody you know what i mean god might want you to say hello and that may break something off of somebody you never know what one kind act that you may do that may help an individual that may heal an individual that may deliver an individual you never know you never know. So once again, allow God to direct your path. Allow God. Even though you may have plans, we all have plans. I got plans and some of my plans got diverted. <laughs> because I'm telling you, what I'm doing right now, this was not in my plan. But this was the plan that God had for me. And all I could do is say, yes, Lord, I'm here to be obedient to you and I'm going to do it. So anyway, I hope that each and every one of y'all have a blessed, blessed day. And once again, go out and see that movie, Sound of Freedom. It's a blessing. It's a blessed movie. And I really enjoyed it. Despite the trauma that's going on, see the glory in it. See the glory in the trauma. Once again, go see Sound of Freedom. Love y'all. Be blessed and have a good one.